In 1997, Congress passed the Taxpayer Relief Act. Included in this tax package was the Child Tax Credit, a partially refundable tax credit for parents with dependable children. My plan gives families a $500 tax credit for every child under 17. Initially a $500 per child non-refundable credit, it was progressively made larger and extended to more taxpayers throughout other tax bills. In 2017, Congress raised the credit to $2,000 per child with up to $1,400 refundable. Then, the U.S. faced the COVID-19 pandemic, and it was clear that Congress needed to act to help Americans through this life-changing experience. Finally, in 2021, Congress drastically expanded the child tax credit. On this vote, the yeas are 220, the nays are 211. The motion is adopted. Under the American Rescue Plan Act, the credit was temporarily raised to $3,600 per child under the age of six and $3,000 per child between the ages of six and 17. It was also made fully refundable and half was paid out as monthly benefits. The goal was to provide families with economic security and to lift millions of children out of preventable poverty. And it worked. We could breathe easier and everything felt more secure. Child tax credit money has really helped us with our medical expenses. If my kids need this for schooling, I got it. I bought my son's school supplies. Um, I bought pull-ups and um, wipes for my daughters. Unfortunately, Congress failed to extend the expanded monthly credit, and after one year of immense success, it went away. Families were provided critical support to make their ends meet, and it worked. Sadly, after a year, that support was immediately gone. But the fight continues. To have an expanded and an improved child tax credit. A lot about how much it reduced poverty. And the child tax credit absolutely did. It relegates children's well-being and their ability to get a supplemental income based on their parents' income. Compromise is good, but compromising children is not. There is a cost to doing nothing. Childhood poverty costs us over a trillion dollars a year. We have to be willing to move the money from corporate pockets over to kids and families. For parents and grandparents. For families. For our children.